So anyway, yesterday Brian installed about five yards of round stone underneath the deck of a house down in Jericho. He was there all day. Did an excellent, excellent job. People were very happy with him. And today I gotta go down there and collect a check, but also look at another project. They want a piece of property cleared to put up a rental home, I guess. So last fall we did a culvert replacement for them. So back to having repeat customers again, which is always nice. So we're gonna head over to the job site that Eli and I were on yesterday. It is the midwinter septic job that we did. Um, we went back and spread all the fill material yesterday um, that was left over. We were backfilling with frost conditions and we knew it was gonna settle. So I didn't charge, I didn't give the customer a final, final bill. I, had them hold back a thousand dollars until we came back and finished so we went back yesterday spread all the fill did some harley raking <clears throat> and i brought in two loads of gravel because i talked them into fixing their driveway up nicely and eli spread that and then eli practiced um running the Harley rake a little bit and that worked out pretty well and I did a bunch of work with the excavator just smoothing things out and built a little plateau to park a trailer and whatnot so Brian's over there now raking all the edges and making it look nice I'm headed over there with the trailer I'm gonna do all the finish grading and the rolling and we will call that place done minus hydro seating any of the, dis uh, the, the disturbed areas. So tomorrow we have a job on the roadside. I've got traffic control coming to do some ditching on a town highway or state highway. And then we're gonna bring in the hydro seeder and spray that ditch and then go back over and spray where we're working today. So I got in this morning, gave Brian his instructions, showed Eli how to disconnect the forestry mulcher from the Kubota. Yesterday he ran the 259. Today he's running the Kubota to spread material since that's what's sitting at the shop. So we had to put the bucket on. So um, <clears throat> I had a meeting this morning, first thing, with a lady from a company that's going to handle all of our back end needs that I don't have time for. So right now it's payroll and giving me some training on how to properly and completely use QuickBooks that I've been paying for and never really utilized. Um, she's also straightening out a bunch of stuff um, from last year's books for me and is then going to help me from this point forward. Um, I do want to hire somebody in the office, just haven't gotten to that point, but this company, you know, it's about $5,000 for them to work with me and get things straightened out on the back end and then $600 a month going forward which essentially is cheaper than hiring somebody <clears throat> full time to work for me so that's pretty nice it feels like having somebody straighten out that stuff so I can continue to do what I know which is operate machinery and go on sales calls it's kind of nice to know that things on the back end are getting squared away properly because I know that I back burner all that stuff and let's do the best I can. Here we are doing a grading job. This is where we did the septic system this winter. We came in, fixed it all back up, spread a couple loads of gravel and uh, I'll just let you watch this. Oh wow, he's so good at grading. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Must be nice, has all new equipment. Yeah, yeah that guy's some Harley Raker. Well, let me guess, gonna roll now? Oh, uh -huh, called it. Just gonna roll. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? I hate him. 
All right, Eli put those loads down on the driveway. And when I got back from the job this morning, he switched over to the 259 and created this. Out pretty nicely. Just hold it. Good, got that done. And he just went home to about 2.30. Brian went down to pick up the four-in-one bucket at the cat, which just came in. And I'm headed to look at three jobs. And then we're gonna move a mini excavator tonight when I get home. Well, we just went and looked at three jobs. And now we're gonna go move a mini excavator. It's about 6.15 Look at this Seventy eight inch four in one bucket from cat with teeth. I'll do that, just hook up there. Is it all locked on fully? Tip it down a little bit. Okay, now use your right, right roller. all the way up so right now this is a dozer blade so you could use it like a dozer yep yep or you could use it to grab stuff like the grapple you could open it up and grab a tree carry it or you use it like a regular bucket or what's really nice since this is a small machine we can dig dirt or whatever reach up over the wall of the big tandem and instead of trying to dump it you can just open it and it'll and you'll dump all your stuff out Put it up again Variations up here. Okay. Morning. We're doing a job in the village this morning. Uh, we're just gonna do a brief ditching on Mill Street, and we're taking a culvert out that is kind of an extra culvert that nobody likes. So we're gonna pull that out. Brian's gonna bring all the fill material back here. So. I've got traffic controllers coming in this morning because it's quite a bit of traffic uh, on that street. All right, we're about to get started. We're waiting for traffic controllers to get set up with their signs, and then we're going to get in the roadway.
going on? I would say we had a pretty productive day today. We finished two jobs and uh, went and looked at two more jobs and returned the hydro seeder that we rented. Um, yeah, so it's been a pretty good week. Having extra help has been good. Um, letting some guys try the machines, especially the Harley rake, uh, and seeing that they have potential with it is a huge, huge thing for me. Um, since this is my own business, it's very hard to delegate some of these things like finish grading and, and hauling and things like that. I can't do it all, but very hard to delegate it to somebody else. Um, <clears throat> so it's a relief when I've got a guy who can truck. I've got a guy who can run the Harley rake and, you know, it just takes time to get better at it. And uh, so it's a good sign for things to come when I can delegate. Um, so uh, it's about 5 o'clock Friday evening. Um, pretty much done for today except sending out a couple of quotes. Um, I've got uh, six sales stops tomorrow. I'm trying to get my phone to stop going off. Six stops tomorrow, um, five on Sunday. And then I'm going to basically take the next weekend off um, and not schedule any events uh, if I can help it. Um, I'm running around looking at jobs <clears throat> as if I don't have any work to do. <laughs> um, customers like that. Customers like it uh, when you actually return their phone call and when you actually show up on time and when you actually send them a quote when you say you will. Um, I would say 15% of our jobs are gotten um, solely because I did what I told them I would do, even if I'm a little bit more money. Um, so it just helps. I mean, if anybody <laughs> is trying to learn how to do this business and are looking at my channel for any sort of insight, I can tell you um, hustle. And that's probably one of the main things. Uh, do what you tell them you're going to do. If you place an ad, respond to it. If uh, you tell them you're going to be there at 3 o'clock, show up at 3. If you tell them you're going to go home and write them a quote and email it to them, do it. Because I have a lot of customers that say, oh, you know, I asked for a quote, never got it. Or I called them, never even called me back. So follow through. It's pretty easy. You'd think it would be common sense, but apparently it's not. Um, so we're about 40... I think probably 45 or 50 projects deep now. So I'm going to uh, cut back on the sales calls a little bit. I don't like to run too, too far ahead. People don't want you to tell them, oh, it's April 14th. When can you do the job? Uh, October. They're going to tell you to get lost. So I pick the jobs that are half a day, one day, maybe two days. So we can just keep moving and... I like to keep our uh, schedule, you know, scheduling out within six weeks. I think people are can handle six weeks, um, but don't lead people on. Don't tell them you can get to it next week and then lead them on for the next month. What's going on? Saturday the 15th. It's, uh, I don't know, five o'clock at night. Had six sales calls this morning. Um, out in the islands, which is about an hour away. Went pretty well. Two people signed up right off the bat. And I've got uh, the other ones I need to put together and email over. But came back here, got the GPS put in the 259. Got the uh, bullet point phone mount in the 259. Just clean the air filter out. Got about 12 hours on it now. I just used it last week to grade, so it was pretty. We went from winter to dusty pretty quick, so clean that out. Just fueling it up right now. I got the four in one bucket on. 
I was gonna take it over in the corner of the parking lot and try it out like a dozer blade and see how that went. But uh, it's gonna be a pretty handy attachment. The first use I can think of for it is going to be when I have to load a tandem. I won't have to reach up and try to dump. I can just reach up and open it so I can load it a little bit easier because loading a tandem with that is doable but not the easiest. You have to come in from both sides. The Kubota 97 can pretty much reach the center of the uh, dump body. So, But I'm going to work on that and then I think I'm going to wash the service truck and bring it in and buff out those or wet sand and buff out those scratches from meeting my gate post earlier this spring. Um, we used the uh, 3500 yesterday to hydro seed and the dirty garden hose got dragged across the rear fenders and the hydro seed hose got dragged across the rear fenders and they're all scratched to shit and I knew that was going to happen. Um, that truck needs a flatbed so I'm going to move that up on the priority list. Um, Decided not to buy a gooseneck right now. I want one, but uh, if I buy a gooseneck, then it only fits that truck. If I buy a 30 or 40,000 K Pintle, then pretty much every truck, including the International that's coming, can tow it. So I think I'm probably going to go that route. But for right now, the 5500 dump has kind of become the main tow vehicle and uh, Bill my new guy his first day was yesterday came right in loaded up the Kubota with the mulcher took it an hour away dropped it off came back got the excavator took it dropped it off came back no issues uh, it's a beautiful thing so uh, it's unfortunate the other guy didn't work out but I don't really care I do what I can for people and they don't want to bother to show up then not my issue I'll find somebody else but uh, so I think Bill's gonna work out great and uh, yeah next week we're loaded up with a bunch of jobs um, even though it's 80 degrees for four days in a row still looks like all these back roads are posted so um, limits what jobs we can get to so we're just gonna continue to go down the list and do jobs that are off non posted roads for now Anyway, appreciate you watching.